All right, guys, it's another nasty, rainy day here in Derby. So we're going to slide on in the shop and uh, do some overhead crane improvement slash maintenance slash upgrades. We'll leave it at that. Annual inspections. Annual inspections. All right, guys, so here's the deal. Whenever I, if you guys watched my shop tour video, I uh, did a detailed overview of this overhead crane, and there's one thing that I never got built the way I wanted it to get built, and I just kind of put temporary braces in there, and we're going to change that today. So let me, uh, let me hop on the lift here real quick, and I'll, uh, I'll show you what I'm talking about, and then I'll explain what we're gonna do. So if you guys remember from my other video, I've got steel beams in the wall, and they go down and actually sit on the footer. I know, I know, I know. It's not the official way to do it because you're supposed to be able to inspect them, but it's what I got. It's what works for me. But these 10 inch beams are not large enough to span the distance. So I had to come in here and put these brackets or these braces in to support them uh, roughly about every 12 or 13 feet. And what I don't like about this is, is one, it bears weight on the wood stud and the wall. Uh, I'm not a big fan of that. What I really don't like is it comes out here and grabs a truss and hangs some weight on the truss of the building. The truss is not designed to do that. I've been wanting to change this for years. And with the help of the man behind the scenes down there doing paperwork, we're going to tackle this project. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a steel post in this wall. And on that steel post, we're going to weld, <clears throat> weld off a bracket and come over and bear that weight. Now that bracket will probably extend all the way over here and grab this truss. But at that point, that truss is just gonna keep it from moving this way. It's just gonna hold it plumb. All the weight should be bared down on the steel, steel uh, post. So, first things first, we gotta cut. We gotta do a little surgery on the wall. Uh, cut a spot open so we can get in there to work. So, uh, scalpel. Got it ready. <laughs> all right, one thing I know for sure is there is a bunch of wiring in this wall for <laughs> all kinds of different things. Uh, 716 plywood, so man behind the scenes has got our blade depth set. Hopefully to where we just... 5 eighths. You said it was half inch, so I was going an eighth it's, inch it's deeper. Seven, so it's technically 716. Seven seven we, sh we should probably go a half, half inch. inch. Yeah, let me read. I'm, uh, I'm good at a lot of things. But not at cutting wires. Not, well, I'm good at cutting them. It's the fixing them part. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Hey, uh, safety Nazi, why don't you unplug that first? I have to pull that trigger. Oh, get after me. All the unsafe things you do. <laughs> Somebody's gotta be the keyboard warrior. I guess it's not technically keyboard warrior if I'm telling you to your face. <laughs> All right. You're doing good there, but hey, I like you. Half inch, right? I, I like you and you're much more productive with all your fingers. Oh, I know. Uh, that button right there, mm -hmm. I'd have had to hit it. I'm smart enough not to hit that wall. I'm adjusting that plane. I'm not convinced. But if you unplug it, you don't have to worry about it. Why are we arguing about this? <laughs> you just, I swear. You just like to argue with <laughs> I do like it. to argue. He may have a valid point there. All right. Yeah, you just wasted 10 seconds me unplugging that. But you still got all your fingers. We're still arguing. And it was still quiet. Still arguing. All right, let's see how straight I can do that.
there she is. We got us a slide out of our nice, beautiful wall. We got us a measurement. We're gonna go from here, which is the top plate, to the bottom plate. It was what, 15, 10, and 7 eighths? 11. 11 and 7 eighths, which makes sense because it's supposed to be a 16 foot wall. So it's pretty close, pretty close 16 foot. But uh, we're gonna get that cut. We gotta get a plate for the top and bottom. We're gonna go ahead and get a kicker built for up here. Uh, no blueprints on this, kind of build it as you go. So, um, I'm coming down to help. Down with March. So we had a quick little think tank here and I think we got this figured out how we're gonna go about it. So uh, first off, Aaron cut this piece here, basically a half inch shorter. And the reason why we cut it a half inch shorter is because we are making these feet to go on top and bottom on a quarter inch plate steel that I had. Voila, voila, bam, right there, see that? You asked why does it have four holes in it? Well, that's gonna be the four anchor bolts go. And it's drilling away on those. And then these pieces here, I will show you, they will come into play a little bit later. Uh, the way we're envisioning this, we're not gonna be able to weld the top off. So uh, to ensure we got ample strength, we're gonna throw this gusset in there real quick. But uh, let us finish getting these pieces made and then I'll kind of show you how this puzzle is gonna go together. And Brian, SLC Farms, I am sorry, buddy. I don't know what I did. But I'll end up against something and got, uh, oh, I'm uh, guessing it was maybe that. That right there. That's the one I was cutting. <laughs> Why should you saw him, I guess. Sorry, Brian, I got your shirt dirty. But uh, SLC Farms, good channel. Go check him out. Let Aaron finish getting, uh, you done yet? Well, I was waiting on you. You done yet? I would have been done. I would have been yet? done if you'd have had all this yet? stuff for me. You done yet? Good thing I'll pay you by the hole, not by the hour. <laughs> Sounds like some of Hooker inside. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is getting off track. That's heavy. That was a good bucket. Was. That was a good was. bucket. What's your plan, here, man? I'm going to watch you stand <laughs> this team up. Fail. Once you get it stood up and get it right there where that pink insulation's at, insulation's at, I'll come over and give you a hand and we'll get it up in there. And See if it'll fit. You got high hopes, let me tell you. All right. I don't know if we really, I don't know if we really have a plan. I guess we're just gonna go for it. Yeah. Uh, well, what you do is you grab this and kind of slide it over that wall. Once you get up over that wall, you can just fork that walk right up and I'll stand back and watch it. Yeah, that ain't gonna work because it's gonna hit the beam. This has got to be out. Yeah, we got to spin it where I got the ground down here. I'm not guess if you get it up to the beam. It may go underneath the beam with that. Yeah. It might. It might go underneath the beam. It might. I hope it does. So my idea is right. Well, that is really hot. It's still recording, so you oh. have a chance. <laughs> Just because it stood upright, it's still got to get it in the wall. That's where I'll help you. Oh, is that where you're going to help me? Well, let me back this beast over here and see what we got. I guess I got to leave you enough room to work. Yeah, that's what I'm getting ready to say. The same way, I need to get one side or the other. But somebody forgot to cool it off before we bolt it to my wood house. You trying to burn down my house down there, mister? No, I I was in charge of welding that up, and you were in charge of uh, the prep work on it. It'd probably be fine. Prep work. Prep work. <laughs> Is this part of prep work? It'd probably be fine, but uh, considering my shop's attached to my house, I really have to hate to explain to Jenna about how we were in a hurry and bolted a hot piece of steel to the top plate. It's 
still steaming. Actually, I'm not sure if I'm worried about Jenna. I think it'd be more the insurance company. Yeah. <laughs> you did what? All right, so here's the plan now that we got it cooled off. Aaron's gonna try to heat man it up. I'm gonna let it kind of go wild up here. And once he gets his end set on the plate down there, I'm hoping we can just kind of hinge her back in the wall. Oh, like a glove. Like a glove. I don't know if you guys can see that up there, but look how tight a fit that is. That is, I'm telling you what, Aaron, we, that's, I did pretty good. I'll, I'll pat you on the back if my arms are longer. So I ain't coming down to death. So. <laughs> Alright, what's your next plan? Uh, <laughs> well, I, haven't thought that far, I haven't thought that far ahead. Oh, I thought you were ready to put the anchor bolts in. You got well, that. <laughs> hey, explain what happened. Go ahead, tell them. Well, these bottom holes we got in here were supposed to have some live bolts to put mm. in there. And there was a guy that was in town earlier that was supposed to get them. He forgot them. I ain't mentioning no names, but now we just got this beam floating in here. Yeah, some bolts would be really handy right about now. I'm not going to lie. All right, we, we, can, we can figure something out to get by. Or some wood screws. <laughs> hey, Aaron. Guess what? What? We got in your hand there. Somebody ran in town and got some. Nobody uh, ran yeah, in town. Yeah, they went to Derby Homeware. <laughs> <laughs> Found some of my secret stash, boys <laughs> and girls. There okay. you go. About like, uh, I'll agree. <laughs> yeah, you know, I'll agree. Yep. Just like you got to agree, I told you that this beam, this box beam, would fit underneath your monorail and beam. I told you I had. You just got to believe. Me. You got to touch it? Yeah. All right, we're going to get that bolted down. Try to figure out what we're gonna do up on top up there. Flawless plan. So far so good. I did drill some uh, pilot holes so we shouldn't be splitting any lumber. What do you think? What are you scared of? Come here. I'm up here working. I'm like almost breaking a sweat and the air conditioner's on in here. And you're down there socializing, man, behind the scenes. Point my finger, tell me what you did. All right, guys, it's a new day in the shop. We got extremely, extremely sidetracked by Mr. Lettering yesterday. We did. I tried telling you, hey, we gotta get back to work. We gotta he, get back to work. Man. He's an old friend of both of ours. We don't get to see him all Yeah, long. yeah, that so, is true. So we, uh, we thoroughly caught up. Good time, but um, I don't know if you guys noticed yesterday, we had a tape measure issue. Somebody couldn't keep track of their tape measure. But uh, you come very well prepared this morning. Oh, that one's actually yours. Yeah. Yeah. I put my name on a couple of them just so maybe they would stick And, and you brought this one for me? Yeah, that's the one I brought for you. And well, that's you the like rest? to tear stuff up. I figured I'd go ahead and tear it up first for you. Oh, just you go just ahead and get that, that out of the way. Yeah. You're so nice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so... Uh, we got this all bolted in yesterday. That all went, that actually went really well. Bolted in nice and solid. So what we're gonna do this morning is uh, we're gonna take the bridge beam, move it over out of the way, and we're gonna cut that brace loose because it's actually up a half inch too high. We need that beam to come down, surprisingly. I would've who hmm. ever guessed it would've been too high. <laughs> All the other ones are about right. For some reason, that one's too high. So we're gonna move the bridge beam over, cut that one loose, hope it comes down a half inch, and then we'll uh, get our brace in. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. I just got one question. To me, it looks like there's only one nut on that brace up there. One nut on the brace? Oh, there is two. There's okay. two. I was just making sure nice you didn't try. break something off. Nice try. <laughs> Hey, after 20 minutes of trying to get it cut loose, you still got the same opinion about the guy who welded it? No comment. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Still stuck. 
So I'll give you guys a quick little tour of what we got going on. So we got this in here. I actually went up in the attic and got a huge block of wood in here. So any forces this does transfer to the wood framing, it's least spread out. It should only be lateral force. There should be no downward force. If there is, it should be minimal with this new engineered system. So that goes back. Uh, we meet up to the to the board here. Aaron's gonna weld that. And then we're going to put, where'd it go? These little braces we cut yesterday. We're gonna slide that in there like that uh, to help transfer that load, help transfer that load over. So I uh, think that should work pretty good. We got uh, fire extinguishers. We got a water bottle with water. We're gonna get a fire hose or a garden hose hooked up for fire protection and start welding. That's right. What's wrong there, Mr. Man behind the scenes? Ah, I'm thinking if you're going to do a little welding, this might come in handy. Come in real handy. Hey, I got the rods. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were taking care of this one. I got this end. Let's see if my end works. Let's see here. On. Oop, that's not the glow plug. Glow plugs. There we go. <laughs> got it all welded off looks pretty good he's cleaned it up a little bit we had one small little fire right here it's actually on the floor from that stall dust nothing too major we got it addressed pretty quick that's why uh you need a fire guy like me you know it was pretty hard sitting on that bucket just watching the weld but i pulled it off we're gonna get that all cleaned up and uh while that one's cooling off we're gonna start prepping on this one over here working on post number two going pretty good what you think well, real good. Was it, uh, you ever heard of karma? Karma, yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, wasn't somebody making fun of somebody else's welding a while ago? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that did it. But on a good note, so this is the flush side, so this all comes off. You oh, will so, never you, see so that. you can hide your mistakes? Yeah, so when I get done with this, we'll take another video and you'll never see that. <laughs> Where are you going? Well, I was, following, going, I was following the crack. There was no crack there. <laughs> He's trying to sell, but I ain't buying. <laughs> All right, so this pole is going to be a Twinkie to that pole, so I'm just going to hit the highlights on this one. Aaron's got the one plate welded on the end. Uh, we're cutting off the length here. Get the other plate. I'll show you what it looks like when we get it mocked up there. But those poles are going to be a little bit different, so I'll follow you in on that. Yes, I, I'm glad you're. I'm glad you're showing them that I fixed your screw. <laughs> you're welcome, sir. Hey, can't even tell. All right, we got that side all fitted up. It fit up real nice. So I'm trying to put some finishing touches on this side. This is how we're going to splice this back in. I just took me a two by four, laid back in there, popped a few screws in it. I'm going to take this piece. Lay it up here like so. Pop a few screws in right there. And that way if I ever do need to get back in there and inspect it, or if I got any concerns about anything going on, uh, we can access it rather easily. So that's my plan on that. Think he's gonna make it. I think we're gonna have to resort to uh, firing the old 120 up, seeing if we can move it. Let me uh, move that thing here. Hold on a sec. I cut her hard. Come on back. Cut her hard. Cut her hard. Cut her hard. Cut her hard. 
Oh, you're gonna make it pull up and get over a little bit. Oh, that's gonna be, that is close. That's close. You got her. All right, guys, we got our notch cut out here on the air side. Uh, first, show you guys the brackets on this side. I don't know if you can see how much it's pulling away from the wall there. Uh, not the best design in the world. It's worked for a few years, but definitely glad we're upgrading. But first obstacle we got in this wall versus the air side is cellulose versus fiberglass. And this stuff is nasty. Get it all cleaned out and head over to the other side, I guess. <laughs> Since you two help clean up the mess down there, you get a real short little ride. Okay. All right, that's it. How'd you like it? Uh, what? You don't have your safety harnesses on. We can't go any higher. You didn't have your safety harnesses. Hey, shh. <laughs> you didn't. <laughs> All right, guys, so we got us a length here. That's what the kids were doing with me. They helped me get a length. Aaron is heading up in the attic up there. We do not have a good measurement of where that truss is over. So uh, he's gonna climb up there to get a good measurement on where that truss is. Uh, we got this piece of metal set up in the saw. Please Grandma and Grandpa come. What you doing? I'm working, what are you doing? I'm not seeing you. Well, thank you. Working on the crane, so. But uh, we got this being sold the way. I'm gonna go round up some insulation. All right, you two need to go stand outside for a second. If I had to drop something on you, that wouldn't be good. Then I'll have to explain it to mom, and that'd just be bad. All right, so the old uh, beautiful 120 is kind of in our way on this one, so I believe we're gonna carry this one in, sock it in the wall, stand it up, and then slide it down to where it goes. That sounds easy enough, right? Yeah, really. All right, you got the bottom? I'll take the bottom. All right, I guess I'll take the top. Here we go. These are definitely not getting any lighter. You need a bigger shop or smaller beans. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just trying to keep it steady for you. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Oh, this one's packed. How in the heck? Oh, there we go. Yeah, all right. Okay, you where you need to be? I'm gonna yep. go, I'm gonna do this number. Okay. Yep. Yeah, I gotta go up about another two inches. Okay. Okay. Some pretty elaborate scaffolding system you got yes, there. Yes, it is. So we got it up in there. We have got all these have been cut. I mean, just uh, right on the money. I've got it started in there. We got to take that two by four and knock her the rest of the way in. We should be good.
you guys can see up there, I'm really, really close. Aaron's where he needs to be at down there, so we're gonna let him go ahead and get his bolts in. We went ahead and put some fiberglass insulation in there to replace that. There's another, there's a whole other wall on the side of this. Uh, it's basically a sound wall, keep sound out of the shop. So I didn't have to put insulation back in it, but I put it back in there for a couple reasons. One, it is insulation. Uh, uh, two, sound, keep the wife happy. Uh, and three, whenever he's up here welding, that insulation is fire retardant, so it helps keep all the sparks and the embers knocked out of the wall. So uh, we'll let him get bolted off down there, and then uh, we'll get bolted off up here. Alrighty, you got her all bolted in. I'm gonna switch places with the man behind the scenes, let him get his beam in here and his gusset, and get rid of that old jewel that's in uh, failing condition. I don't know if you can see down through there how bad they're leaning and pulling out away from the wall, but uh, definitely need his attention, so down we go. We got us a fire curtain set up there so he don't throw fire over on my go-kart parts. You can go ahead. All right. See if, oh, hey, it, uh, it helps you plug it in. <laughs> Who, up, Who it? crawled up here and didn't plug it in? Hey, that's all right. Look what I got right here. I told you, you I better hope you, this. you better hope you got enough battery at this point. <laughs> Again, no, not too bad. We got kind of a tight clearance between the ceiling and the beam. We need to gain like an eighth of an inch, so we're gonna put a wood block in there. Hopefully that allows us to get enough room to get our beam slid back in there. It's tight. All right, he man, it's all you. I can't, I can't reach it from over here. Weird how that works. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. And it's only a one man lift, so. All right. You're so I'll close. I'll let you handle that wood. Yeah. yeah a little bit lighter. Yeah, it's all moral support from this direction. You're doing good. Don't drop it on my excavator. Oh, that is close. I think it's gonna go. Come on now. Oh my goodness, that's so close. That is close. I really wish I could help you, but I seriously cannot reach it. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, that sounded like home right there. I went to jump over to help him, and then he decided he could get it. There it is, that was contact. Oh yeah, we made it. Like it was meant to go there, Aaron. Yeah, what, 10, 10 years ago, 12 years ago? When did you build this shop? <laughs> That's irrelevant to the conversation. <laughs> the point is right now it's made to go there. I had this plan in my head the whole time. I'm just it talking. was before I was out here making you famous. <laughs> oh, you know what I mean? The man behind the scenes. <laughs> That's when this should have been done. If you know, if you do more talking or let it oh my boy. I should do more talking, you are right. <laughs> more working and less talking. <laughs> boy, I stuck my foot in my mouth on that one. You done yet? We got that one fit up in there, and it, uh, it really fits nice. I'm on a uh, fire watch. Got a fire extinguisher there, fire extinguisher there. We got a garden hose over there, and we got a water bottle full of water there. We got as much stuff covered up as we can. We got a couple of minor little hot spots, but we've been trying to stay on top of it. The next one has to go down through that fence over there, so while he's welding that, I'm gonna start dismantling that bench so we can get that in there. This beam here is two inches closer to the wall. There's only six inches between it and the wall. And that side over there, there was eight inches. I don't know why, whenever I built this, for some reason I guess I had it an inch off center, but uh, it's gonna work the same. It's just gonna be a lot tighter for him to get in there to weld, but he's the man. He's going at it. You're a slave driver. We only have one more hour It's left. his fault that I have not picked the camera up for the last hour and a half. It is almost midnight. You're out here on the shop making noise. It is dark out there. It is dark out there. Why well, it's about ready to kill me. But, 
We got the last post in and fitted up. We are down to welding and patching the wall back in. Apolog welding. Apologize I didn't get more video of that, but we've been kind of slamming along. But check this out. We got the uh, wall all back together over here. Got the airline rerouted up there. That side's all done, except I want to try to find some green paint up there. So uh, stay tuned. We're going to get some sleep. We're going to try to get in the morning. Try again in the morning. morning. Because guess what? Five. Sure. <laughs> we get the crane done. Guess what's next? That thing. Back on the 120. Look, I'll even give you guys a sneak peek. Check this out. Got a whole pallet full of parts right there. So, that's right. It's exciting. All right, yep. I'm going to bed. I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, Dirt Perfect fans. Uh, here I am, man behind the scenes, out here getting ready to start. Um, I got to finish welding up this one up here on this uh, this beam here. I uh, tried getting uh, Mr. Dirt Perfect out of bed. He's uh, He's still laying in bed, grouchy. Said I kept him up too late, uh, which he was getting a little, uh, little grouchy last night. So I guess he don't want to come out and play. I guess I'll have to do it myself. So uh, here I am. Hopefully he'll be out within the next hour and get back with you guys. But uh, like I said, I'm the one that makes things happen around here. You all have a good morning. Yeah, all right, guys, it's the next day. We're welding off the last one, and uh, he is working way too close to my desk for comfort. Check this out. He is right here. So I'm up here on top of my desk on Firewatch, and uh, Matt's actually down below on uh, Firewatch, and we're just keeping an eye on everything. We'll get this welded off. I'll, uh, yeah, show you what all we did and uh go from there but uh hopefully this video don't get any more exciting than what it already is all righty so we are on our last one i figured i'd show you what aaron's uh aaron's fancy handiwork welding looks like what we covered up so uh, after he gets done welding we let him cool down coming back and painting them putting the boards in and uh Call them again. You done painting yet? Waiting on you. I don't know if you notice, but these videos, we hear that a lot. <laughs> I'm waiting on you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man, it stopped going down. Oh, there it goes. The, uh, I agree. I'm waiting on you a lot. <laughs> Last yeah. one. Alrighty, there's what she looks like. Got all the plywood back in and now it's got the trim back up around that. Might do something with them one day, but for one day, but for now they're good. Alright, so while we're uh, looking at this crane over real good, working on everything else, you notice this trolley right here is just a tick out of adjustment. So uh we're gonna re-shim it or uh re-tighten it. I think it may just be loose. Trying to figure out what's going on there. Now let's go ahead and pull that off, put one washer around, and we'll go back with it. You ready? Okay. And we'll put one washer on there. One washer. One washer. Alright, we'll put this back on now. Alright, now put your all your leather washers and your nut back on. I think on the back side we need to do two of those. I think on this back side we'll take two. Take two from the front and put them, take two out back here and put them out there, yeah.
a lot better. better mucho better get our counter pins back in all the other dollies look really good it's just this one is a little off we're pretty much looking over every weld on this thing making sure we're good i haven't seen anything yet have you no but, uh, head out there and check out that splice What do you think, Master Fabricator? Will it hold? I think it'll hold for everything we're doing. I, I did find one little pinhole. I went here to QC this. You just had to find something spinning. wrong. You just find, had to find something wrong in it. One thing, kind of like a safety guy, you always got to find at least one thing wrong. Are we going to fix our pinhole or are we going to let it go? I think we'll be good. I'm going right. to leave that up to you. Head up there, I'll show them my trolley. You guys want to see my cable drive since the up close. All this is the Harbor Freight winch. I want a half inch key stock in here on the drum to keep it from wearing. Cable comes in, wraps around one time and goes out. And these uh, wheels here just kind of help, help guide it. It's been that way for, I don't know, ever since I built it. I haven't had any, any trouble with it at all. What's nice about that is, is it slips. So if you get, get up against something, it won't pull the wall over. I got an adjustable turnbuckle over there. It's kind of like a flip clutch, but uh, that system has worked really, really, really well. So, all right, let's get this finished up. I think that's it, gentlemen. I like it. I'm glad you like it. That's all that matters. That's right. Um, We're here to please me. I'm glad you took the direction on this and we got it knocked out. You know, I sure am glad you hired a professional painter and not a professional welder. <laughs> <laughs> This, uh, as long as you're not pointing straight up at the ones right above your head, you look over at them, it looks great. Yeah, you're definitely a better welder than you are a painter. We'll give you that for sure. So, I'd say this project probably took a day longer than it should have. No, a day longer than we thought it was going to. But, no. uh, it does. just because you had to run to the Derby Hardware store somehow. Hey, Derby Hardware come handy. But, I think it also turned out way better than we thought it was going to. I'm very happy with it. That's it, guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Trust me, we got a whole shop full of projects. There'll be more. Catch y'all next one.